Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Priya Sipaha. Being a law professional, I have observed that many people, no matter the students or a law graduate, they're confused between the distinction between fundamental rights and human rights. So in this particular video, I have tried to explain in a very simple way the difference between the fundamental rights and human rights. First of all, it is necessary to understand what is rights. Rights are reasonable privileges of people which are ensured by law. According to law, rights are considered as a sensible case of the people which are acknowledged by the general public and affirmed by statutes. It can be fundamental rights or human rights. Basically, there are three types of right. The first one is fundamental right, second human rights, and third is legal right. But in this video, I will explain only fundamental rights and human rights and basically the difference between the two. Fundamental rights and human rights are generally confused with each other because they overlap with each other. Fundamental rights and human rights are essential for the presence and improvement of people. It makes a superior domain and better living conditions for individuals and in addition, they protect their nobility. Both rights are key roles that remain at the premises of any fair and equivalent society. Now, what is fundamental rights? The rights which are primary to the life of the citizen of a nation are known as fundamental rights. In India, it is described in the part three of the constitution of India. Fundamental rights are the rights that are approved by an administration. All individuals that fall under the ward of the constitution are conceded these rights without assumptions or cost of benefits. On the other hand, human rights are all inclusive, supreme and essential good claims as in they have a place with every individual they are elementary and are fundamental to a genuine living. These are basics of every one of the people, regardless of their position, caste, creed, belief, nationality, place of birth, citizenship, and some other status. All people appreciate a similar human rights with no segregation. These are critical for the improvement of the general public as it cancels different practices like foul play, abuse, separation, and imbalance. A portion of the normal human rights are opportunities from separation, ideal to life, balance under the steady gaze of the law, freedom and individual security, ideal to training, flexibility of thoughts, ideal to free development, and so on. As I have discussed earlier also, that due to some of the similarities between the human rights and fundamental rights, they are generally confused by the common man. Some of the similarities has been discussed here. Like the first one is that the object of both fundamental and human rights is to ensure people and make amicable and just social orders. Second, both aim for furnishing people with the way to live and to understand their maximum capacity. Third, both rights can be upheld by lawful confidence and bodies, although general human rights must be ratified by international bodies like International Court of Justice, International Criminal Courts, and so forth. Whereas, fundamental rights are usually ratified by the constitution of a particular country. Both start from the possibility of a humanized, just, and rise to society. And the last one, both are distinctive and essential part of our life as people and as individual from society. There are many dissimilarities between the human rights and the fundamental rights. I have tried to explain the difference between the two on the basis of the certain comparison in this particular slide. As far as meaning and explanation is concerned, the fundamental right means the primary rights of the citizen, which are justifiable and written in the constitution. Whereas, 
Human rights are the basic rights that all the human being can enjoy, no matter where they live, what they do, and how they behave. The fundamental rights are awarded through the country's constitution, and all people that fall under the jurisdiction of the constitution are granted these rights without presumption or cost of privilege. Whereas, human rights are rights that each human should have. These are the most basic rights that protect a human from other human. Human rights are moral vision of rights that nearly everyone agrees a human should have. Now, fundamental rights are derived from the views of a democratic society. Whereas, human rights emerge from the ideas of civilized nation. As far as scope is concerned, the fundamental rights are country specific, which includes only those rights which are basics to a new normal life. Whereas human rights are universal in nature. That includes those rights which are basic to a real life and are absolute. That means it cannot be taken away. As far as enforcement is concerned, the fundamental right is enforceable by the court of law and human right is enforceable by United Nation Organization. There are certain rights which is common in fundamental right and in human rights like right to life, right to movement, etc. But still there are some differences between the two. The explanation will be in the next slide. Some of the major fundamental rights under Indian Constitution are right to equality, right to freedom, right against exploitation, right to freedom of religion, culture and education rights, right to property, right to constitutional remedies, and right to privacy. There are 30 human rights under Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The first one is right to equality, freedom from discrimination, right to life, liberty, personal security, freedom from slavery, freedom from torture and degrading treatment, right to recognition as a person before the law, right to equality before the law, right to remedy by competent tribunal, freedom from arbitrary arrest and exile, right to fair public hearing, right to be considered innocent until proven guilty, freedom from interference with privacy, family, home and correspondence, right to free movement in and out of the country, right to asylum in other countries from persecution, right to a nationality and the freedom to change it, right to marriage and family, right to own property, freedom to freedom of belief and religion, freedom of opinion and information, right of peaceful assembly and association, right to participate in government and in free election, right to social security, right to desirable work and to join trade unions, right to rest and leisure, right to adequate living standard, right to education, right to participate in the cultural life of community, right to a social order that articulates this document, community duties essential to free and full develop development, freedom from state or personal interference in the above rights. At the end, I would like to mention that no matter, human rights and fundamental rights are overlap with each other, but there are some key contrasts between them, specifically concerning their legal nature and their enforceability. Actually, human rights are essential and basic rights that ought to be delighted in by all people paying little respect to nationality, race, ethnicity, and sex. However, 
fundamental rights are appreciated by all individuals that fall under the jurisdiction of the constitution of a specific country without assumption or cost of benefit. This is all about the distinction between the fundamental rights and human rights. Thank you for watching and I have tried to explain these distinctions in a very crisp and a short manner. If you want a detailed notes, you may visit to my website that is www.priyasipaha.com. That is all for today. See you soon. Goodbye.